Hi, today we're going to show you how to use our scrumptious point of sale and the screen that you see in front of you is the login screen and we're going to key in a pin that has been preset in the back office of this system for the Waitron to gain access to the main tool interface. We click the go button and a verified button pops up if the pin is correct and it says no data if it is wrong. Now we're going to gain access to the main tool interface and what you see in front of you is a display invoice where various items that have been ordered for various tables will be displayed. At the top you have your menu options and you can set up as many menus and give them names as you like in the back office and each menu item has got 10 modifiers and 10 categories so you can do things like add half portions or full portions, give an option for different kinds of cooking methods, a thin pizza base, a thick pizza base, a, a scrambled egg or a fried egg, you name it. You, you can configure those menus any way you like. You can also do add-on menus with the system. So if you've got pizzas, for instance, you can then add on as many items as you need to so people can mix and match and make up their own pizzas. Now we're going to move on to demonstrating what is actually going on on the far right hand side here. You see numbers and various letters flipped out to the far right. The numbers depict the, the number of tables in that particular station and the letters depict or differentiate the guests seated at any table that is open. Any table that does not have guests at the side is closed and is not has not got anybody seated or any orders on it at the moment. Now this whole system here is also set up in the back office. This is set up in the layout manager where the manager or the owner of the restaurant can make a layout for each room or various different layouts for their restaurant and then they can choose to make a particular layout active so that is the one that would be used at that time and you can also make more than one layout plan active if you've got a function in a separate room and you want to run the rest of the restaurant for instance in its normal way. Now once the station is allocated to a Waitron using the shift manager it appears on that Waitron's screen when that Waitron logs into the system. Now let's demonstrate what is actually going on here. If you click on a table that is open that has guests on it, you will see that the invoice will be displayed for that table. There you go. And then if you click on a guest seated at that table, only the invoice for that particular guest will be displayed. And the reason for that is that if you want to pay only by guest, the system will allow it and you can also pay for the whole table. Other options exist such as splitting bills in various manners but we will demonstrate that at a later time. Now we're going to show you how to change an item that has already been ordered. You click on the change button and all the details for that order will appear on the left hand side. Everything in the system is draggable and configurable to make for easy use so that you can see what's going on. And we're going to change this item. The original order will pop up with the selection in light silver at the far right hand side of the pop up that you can see there. Now the, what the client has actually ordered is displayed in red and the rest of the order is in green. We're going to change the bacon from streaky to back bacon and leave everything else as it is and you will see that on the selection there in light silver, the option for bacon has been changed from streaky to back. Now we're going to change the order. Now we're going to show you how to actually place an order. We start with choosing a table that does not have any guests seated at it. And there you'll see it says no orders on table 8. Now we're going to select a guest for that table and all options appear in the little top section of the display invoice demonstrating for the Waitron that he has made the correct selections.
for this table. Now we're going to choose the breakfast menu. And the details for that menu pop up. And we're going to order a sunrise breakfast because that is what the virtual client has decided they want to eat. And here you see the options for that menu item. On this menu item now, the waiter can read out to the customer what selections there are. Obviously, they would have seen it in their own menu, but the waiter can now offer them the options and say, this breakfast comes with scrambled eggs or fried eggs, and obviously this can be set up in any menu for any, any item menu item that you need, say, for instance, a full portion or a half portion or a pizza with a thin base or a thick base. Use your imagination on the things you could use this for. Okay, now we're going to select fried eggs, or the client selects fried eggs, soft, sunny side up, light toast on white bread, streaky bacon, crisped, crisp, small fries, and place the order. As that order is placed, a message will flash on the screen to show that the order has actually been placed, and then the order will appear in real time on the bill in front of you on the display invoice. Now we're going to choose a second guest for this table. Once again, we're going to choose a breakfast, this time an easy, an early bird breakfast. We're going to have fried eggs, soft, sunny side up, medium toast on white bread, streaky bacon, crisped, place the order. And as you see, <clears throat> This particular table now has two patrons seated. And if you check on the far right hand side, once the, ta the page refreshes, table 8 now has two guests A and B seated at that table. We are now going to demonstrate to you how to process a bill. We choose table 8. You could also choose each guest individually to pay the bill by guest rather than by table. Options exist for a split bill, but we will demonstrate, as I say, that at a later time. Now, what you do is close the bill. And on the far left-hand side, options to pay that bill pop up. We're going to choose cash. In the form at the bottom, the various options to pay the bill are presented to you. If it's a credit card or a check or any, any payment method, a voucher that requires the name of the person or the number of the card or whatever to be put in either by scanning the card in your card machine or by manually inserting it, you can do that. Here with cash, obviously, none of those options are important, so Automatically, none will go into the system if you choose cash. Now we're going to pay 60 Rand. Sixty Rand. To this bill and the method selected is as a unit and we're going to submit this bill to be paid by the system. And there in front of you, all the information for that order pops up. And now, obviously, this would go straight through to your printer. The total is 55 Rand. The tender was cash of 60 Rand. It is for all the guests. And now the change on that particular table is 5 Rand. Obviously, the system does a lot more. Any orders that are put through on the system are immediately available in the kitchen. Now, obviously, that particular waiter or waitress would not have access to the kitchen. This is for demonstration purposes. And the chef in the kitchen immediately receives the orders that are keyed into the system. 
and they have the option to view the details of that item in great detail to see exactly what the customer has ordered and then if a particular item is ready they will click the ready button and it will disappear in real time to become available on the waiters or waitrons screen immediately for delivery to the table and a little alert bell will sound to tell the waitron to fetch that item from the kitchen. We hope you've enjoyed our video and that you'll watch further training videos that explain exactly how to set up the back office and do many more things that this wonderful system can actually do. And um, check out our written information, our written tutorials on our website as well. It's a smartsolve.com. Thank you very much.